Hey, it's Jamie here from Pulse Barbecue, and today on the grill, we're cooking up some back ribs on the pit barrel cooker. I can put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click down there for everything that I have for you. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get cooking. So to get started with this recipe, uh, you're gonna need a couple racks of back ribs, some olive oil, and some barbecue rub. This is uh, our own in-house uh, rub that we make up, and then we're gonna be using some of this pit barrel uh, all-purpose rub uh, on one of the racks as well. So to start with, we're gonna just take our olive oil, and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, put a, place a nice coating onto the outside of these ribs. This is gonna just be a binding uh, agent to help the rub uh, stick to, to the ribs. So we get a nice coating of that rub uh, and create a nice bark on these ribs as they cook. So with these ribs, we've already gone ahead and, and taken off the membrane that's on the back, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and do that. Uh, just grab a butter knife and just pry off that membrane uh, on one of the bones. Then with some paper towel, uh, just grab it and rip it off fully. So on this first rack, we're gonna go ahead and place our postal barbecue rub onto the outside. And we're gonna do both sides of the, of the underside and the top side. All right, so this first rack is, is rubbed down. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our all-purpose pit barrel rub and again, do the same thing on both sides uh, with a nice liberal coating. So once we got our ribs all rubbed, uh, we're gonna take our pit barrel uh, hooks and go place it about two rib bones down so we got one two and then we're gonna put it in there and then it's gonna hang on the bar here so we're gonna do the same to the other one so again count the rib bones down one two then you're gonna place it right in between the second and third rib bone like that and what we're doing is we're putting it on to the, the thicker end of our ribs. And so we got our, our thinner, uh, smaller piece, and then our, our thicker top end. And it's just gonna have a little bit more uh, hanging durability with that. So we're gonna get the pit barrel all set up for cooking. We have some unlit coals down in the bottom of the barrel. And then we're gonna be using a small chimney uh, full of royal oak charcoal. And we're gonna get that all lit and then dump that in uh, to get a cooking temperature of about 275 degrees. So once we get our charcoal into the barrel, uh, we're just gonna place some hardwood into there uh, to get some nice smoking flavors going on. Next, you're gonna place your, your bars into the barrel. And we're using this drop down grate today because uh, on this side later on, we're gonna be uh, making some atomic buffalo turds. So once you got your barrel all prepared, you're gonna go ahead and place your ribs onto the bars and let them hang directly over your coals. After that's done, quickly place the lid on and begin cooking at 275 degrees. So these back ribs have now been cooking for about three and a half hours and I wanna show you what they look like. You can see that when we take them out of the barrel, uh, the color is just unreal. They got that nice mahogany color from the smoke and the rub all coming together, as well as the flavors of these ribs are gonna be just spot on. And so it's at this time, we're gonna pull them out of the barrel and we're gonna place a nice coating of our barbecue sauce onto these ribs, then get them back in the grill and cooking for about one hour or until done. So after four hours and 15 minutes, these back ribs are done. So we've let these ribs rest for just a little bit and now it's time just to slice into them and get feasting. Mm. 
So these back ribs are all done, and there's only one thing left to do. Let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mm, these ribs are tender. They're juicy. Uh, they're they're full of flavor with that spice and the sweet coming together. Uh, you're gonna love it. Check it out. So that's how you make those back ribs on the pit barrel cooker. Uh, let me know in the comment section how it turned out for you. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. Don't forget to share this video, and we'll see you next time.